all groups in fusion, that is, classes, learning spaces and school areas, all have group menus. So if I go into my learning spaces, you will see that each group has an options menu. If I click on that menu, these are all the things that I can do with my group. One of the key options is to manage the settings of the group. Now the first thing to say here is that if you go into a class menu rather than a learning space menu, if your school is connected to an MIS system, any changes you make to the name of your group will cause that group to be archived the next time Fusion synchronizes with the MIS system. However, you can still change the other settings for a class. So let me take you through the settings. So if you're dealing with a learning space, you can change the name. You can give your group a description, and I know that in some dual language schools they choose to describe the class by putting the name in another language. You can auto-enrol certain groups in here, although I would use this with caution. So you can auto-enrol all students, all teachers, all guests and all staff. Now staff here are defined as people who are staff but not teachers. There are advanced options, and some of these are actually very important. You can choose to hide your group from the parent portal. Your group will have been assigned a grading template by your admin. However, you, the owner or manager of the group, can change this default grading template. This means that every time homework or other things are set for your students and someone goes to grade it, this is the default grading template. However, it's useful to note that when you come to grade, you can change the grading template at the point of grading. There is a notification that can be set for the entire school, which allows a notification to go when a file is uploaded to a group. To avoid people being flooded by notifications, we default this to no in all groups, so that just for one or two very special groups, you might choose to say yes. When I upload a new file to this group, people get a notification at the end of the day. Group portals also very important. When you go to a class and click into it, by default that class is a file share area. However, you can change that class to being a website or to a group dashboard. If I just quickly go and have a look at group dashboards so you can see what that is. If I go to my classes, this group here is set up as a group dashboard. If I click into it, you can see there's an area at the top of the page that teachers can put any content they want to into it. And further down the page, there are dashboard panels and the items in the dashboard panels are things that have been set for this group only. So that's a group dashboard. So let's go back to the group settings. Groups are not automatically defined as belonging to a year group, so you can force this to happen so that when you search for year four or filter by year four, this group will show up as being from year four. Any group can also be defined as belonging to a particular curriculum area. This means that when you set homework for this group, it will automatically be set for this subject. And finally, for classes only, we have something called group login which is a simple login for younger students. So that's all the settings in the Manage Settings option for classes and learning spaces on Fusion.